an iPhone 17 Pro Max can run Bitcoin Core. So what does that mean? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching this video. My name is DaVinci. I'm in a pipe 5x5. Five five. Okay, well, honestly, I did not sleep last night. I struggled to actually get up and do this show, but I'm here. Anyways, man, with the iPhone 17 dropping, um, we're seeing the la largest size for um, terabyte space that you could have in a phone. Think about it. It's now two terabytes. Two terabytes of space. That can run the Bitcoin Core, give you lots of space to do whatever you need for your images and so forth, and you can support the Bitcoin network. Now, Bitcoin Core as it is, right, um, needs a complete refresh. But, but this shows that Moore's Law has gotten to a point where it surpassed the Bitcoin network and will never, ever fall behind. Never. Because if you think about it, right, um, Bitcoin, right, the most it could fill right now per year, if it were to go all the way balls to the walls is 128 gigabytes per year, which it won't do that. Right? <laughs> but that's that's the worst case scenario, right? So effectively, that lasts maybe about 10 years from the current size of the Bitcoin Core, which um, if you were to download all the blocks, is approximately around 700 gigabytes. There you go. There you go. You still have 1.3 terabytes of space putting on your iPhone. Now, you probably wouldn't do that. Probably wouldn't do that. I get it. I get it. All right? But, hey, I need to disturb you for a second because I'm going to be doing a course on how to buy Bitcoin, how to use Bitcoin, how to use a wallet, how to use a hardware wallet, how to basically store Bitcoin for the long term. Because we all know it's going to be the money. You need to have this. Very happy to help you guys. It goes to show you that in the future, the whole Bitcoin core will fit into a cheaper version of the iPhone or some sort of phone with two terabytes. With when two terabytes is like whatever, whatever, or maybe even four. One is the base model. And that's kind of happened fast. Right now, you're saying $2,000 for two, two terabytes. Who's going to do that? Well, maybe I will. <laughs> Somebody else who's wealthy in Bitcoin, they might do it for sure. And so there it is. And then once, once they're, they're, they're tired of it and the new version comes out, They'll give it to somebody else for an even cheaper price. And then more and more of those two terabyte uh, iPhones and other phones that have two terabytes of space will exist and people will run full nodes on them. Now, I get it. The way the full node works, right? It's like, mm, not the greatest of Bitcoin applications out there. There's much better, right? Yes, because they're using somebody else's core in order to actually find validate what exactly happened on the network. Eventually, that's going to change it. And a complete redesign of the core application will occur. And you're like, what? Isn't that going to be a Bitcoin fork? No. There's a difference between how you implement a fork protocol, right? And if you change a protocol, right? So if I say, you know, I'm going to, um, you know, let's see. What would be a good, ex good example of that? Um, I'm going to speak English, right? And I'm going to speak it very fast, right? Or very slow. Though that's, I'm still speaking English. That's the protocol we, we understand. How fast I do it. Or how slow I do it. Doesn't matter. Right? I didn't break the protocol of English. Right? You have to spend a little bit more time listening harder, but you still can understand. If I still speak in English. So effectively, right? Effectively, the Bitcoin core can be sped up and then, boom, we'll have a better system of communicating with blocks than we do today. Uh, and I've, I've thought about it, actually. I've actually, because I'm a software developer, I've thought about it. I've thought about 
Hey, okay, so how would that come up with? And I, and I, I thought, yeah, I could probably write something that would uh, completely redesign the core of Bitcoin, but still leave the protocol intact. And, um, well, I don't know. Maybe if I, if I find some time, I will write something. All right, so there it is, right? 200 bucks for two terabytes. $2,000, sorry, for two terabytes. Wow. Anyways, let's take a look at... Uh, Something that's that's a little bit more than two thousand dollars, <laughs> Bitcoin, <laughs> right? Uh, Bitcoin, brutal man. This has been brutal. It would uh, ever since it, it it broke this this downward trend, it was like yeah yeah we're gonna go and no yeah yeah we're gonna go and no yeah yeah we're gonna go and no and yeah yeah we're gonna go again and no 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 we're gonna screw you again. It's been brutal ride for those who um you know purchased and are like waiting for this thing to break out because there's been w's here right after w's after w's you can see that this great cup and handles you could have come to this you could have thought the breakout the breakout traders just absolutely got murdered murdered if you were high leverage right you just you had to like stop out get stopped out it is what it is we're, we're playing with the big boys and the big boys you know they love to um you know move the price around because you know they got billions whilst you got millions <laughs> and that's right you probably don't even have that so they um love to hold they love to hurt you and this is a key level here you can see there's a key uh breakout le key level the red level which is uh also in the parking garages if you've been watching my show this is a, a level that um that's measured between these two red lines and they um prices like to trade within that that those uh, parking garages, right? And so that's what we're doing. We're basically failing on that parking garage. Now, you can see, right? Wait a second. Some of those candle bodies got above them. Yeah, so it's not a not a big deal. It is, um, you can see that this is a clear parking garage, right? From here, the, the support, support, uh, support here as the wicks uh, failed and the, the support here. This has been here before we even came down the line, right? So, so this line is 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 accurate, and you can see it's, it's accurate even this point at this point here. Maybe you're saying, well, this one, this line, and this one is not making it accurate, but yeah, don't let it fool you, right? That's how the market works, right? Because they have they're moving billions, so they're pushing billions one way, right? And then they can push it against you. Um, so as as you're trying to push it up, they can push it back down very easily. So. But the good news is you can see that this is this is turning out to be an uh, uh, winding up of uh, of the um, the price. So we can see that Bitcoin is about to um, break out. Um, let's see here if, if we have. Um, oof, man, well, the Bollinger Bands are not that tight, but yeah, we're probably just going to head all the way up to the oof, 17K, so 117 to close the gap. We'd have to go all the way to 117. So retest this thing, break this thing higher. Wow. I wonder if that's going to happen because this thing could easily roll over just to cl just to, to give you one last. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to screw you and then come back up and then re and then close this. Uh, these Bollinger Bands, if we come back down, this band, these bands will tighten even more to give a, a bigger um, explosive move. That would be best. Right. If we were to break down, come back up here into this level um, break down to like the 109, come all the way back to the 110, and then um, we uh, tighten the bands basically on the daily. That would be huge for a, a long-term breakout for Bitcoin. Okay, uh, let's take a look at some of the other bets that we have that uh, that are playing out. Uh, this is uh, Solana nicely playing playing out nicely. Finally, we're finally uh, we're touching the the, the first um, level. Uh, of the, the parking garage, we're going to see it come probably all the way up to the the, the next level, right? Um, which is which should be the one fifty two fifty six. Sorry, two fifty six. Um, not sure what this is. This is probably a secondary garage, right? Yeah, that's right, secondary garage. Okay. Hmm. Mm, okay, that's right. So this is the right garage. So maybe I should change this to red. Right. Control C. Control V. So that I don't get it twisted. Yeah, sometimes there's garages in the garages here, but here we go. There it is. Next, let's finally close it off with Ethereum. 
Ooh, Ethereum four hours is like really tight, ready to to explode. Um, looking at the the four hour, you can see um, over here on uh, on this chart, it's a lot tighter than you can see on here. And yeah, we're about to explode higher or explode lower on Ethereum. Um, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But uh, let's just go to a daily and see how how tight the bands are. Ooh, wow, yeah, they're just too wide. So uh, most likely a a um. A, a breakdown before we break out. Okay. All right. That's it for um, Ethereum. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.